In my other video, I focused mostly on uh, polynomial division where you could just cancel uh, terms from the numerator to the denominator, basically just dividing only by monomials. What we're going to focus on here is uh, sort of a little bit more complex process of dividing a polynomial by a binomial. Um, and I may have a couple of examples here. Let's start with, um, uh, let's do x minus 4 into 2x squared minus 5x, 5x minus 12. Oh, that 5x is horrible, isn't it? Make that a little clearer. Minus 5x minus 12. Now the process for dividing a, uh, in this case, a trinomial by a binomial, is really the same long division process you did in elementary school with a, you know, longer longer numbers with multiple place values uh, divided by something with fewer place values. Very, very similar. The only difference is that um, you actually make sure that the first term always goes away each time. And we do that by um, actually multiplying to get that term. So our first step here is uh, to take a look at what number our first term in our our inside number is. We have 2x squared here. And what we need to do is find out what we would multiply our first term and our uh, divisor by to find to get that 2x squared. Well, if I wanted to make x into 2x squared, I'd need to multiply it by 2x. So what I do is I put 2x up into my answer, lining up the powers of x. So my x to the first goes over my x to the first down here. And then I go ahead and do the multiplication. 2x times x gives me 2x squared. Then I take that same value, 2x, and I multiply it by the second term in my divisor. So I have 2x times negative 4. And that gives me negative 8x. And now you can see that our 2x minus our 2x squared minus our 2x squared goes away. And let me change colors for our next round here. Then we have negative 5x minus negative 8x. That's going to give us positive 3x. So then we have 3x, and we bring down our negative 12. So we have 3x minus 12. Now we repeat the process. We need to see what we'd multiply x by to get 3x. So that would be positive 3. And then we go ahead and multiply that 3 times x, and we'd get 3x. And then we take that 3 times the other term, in this case negative 4, and we'd get negative 12. So then we have 3x minus 3x and negative 12 minus negative 12. So we get 0. So that tells us that 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 divided by x minus 4 equals 2x plus 3, which should also tell us that 2x plus 3 times x minus 4 equals 2x squared minus 5x minus 12. And we can see that if we take 2x times x, we get 2x squared. And if we take 2x times negative 4, we get negative 8x. And 3 times x gives us positive 3x. 8x and 3x gives us our negative 5x. Let me change colors once more so I don't get confused. And then finally we have 3 times negative 4, and that gives us our negative 12. So all you have to do to, to divide these things is use the same process used for long division in elementary school and take it one piece at a time, one term at a time, rather than one place value at a time.